blessings and peace, dear ones. Greetings this day. Yim Chang Fu. I'm coming forward to you from the worlds of light to remind you that that is also where you are from. We invite here all your guides and helpers, family, relations, ancestors, and all those who walk with you from all the dimensions. For indeed you are interdimensional. So as your, if you like, physical human self is listening to me now, there is also a part of you connecting with me. We can say in the ascended realms, or I could say your higher self, your divine self. And you can feel, I'm sure, in your life, there are so many ways you can look at everything. And sometimes you, you know, you react to things, you're very emotional. Sometimes you, you like to just put that down and analyze things and you come right into your mind and you look at the logic and the, you know, the truth, as it were, of what you're looking at. And sometimes you are coming from that place that is beyond the mind. In other words, your spirit. The part of you that is made of pure light. That is your higher self. And so, as I come forward to you at the moment each day, it is important to understand that each time we connect, you know, another element is coming in. You are always changing, always growing. No two days are you in fact the same and no two days when you listen to me will it sound the same. You won't be the same, I won't be the same. It's never the same. There's always change. For some of you that is a little bit challenging. You would like it to stay the same. I want to know things are just the way I left them. I want to be in control. I understand. So in spiritual work, what matters is to understand the part of you that is in control, that is the divine part of you. There is a part in control. That's the best part of you to be in control, actually. But you might not always be entirely conscious of that part and how to recognize which part of you, which is kind of not your mind, not your heart, not your... It's, it's a part of you that's all of you. It is your mind, it is your heart, but it's not only one or the other, and it's not only your senses. It is that vast all-in-one power of you that we call your higher self, your divine knowing self. You know that feeling you have when you meet someone, you either like them or you don't like them, and there's a reason. Once you have developed that intuitive power, you begin to realize, oh my goodness, I'm actually designed and made with this extraordinary wisdom within me. Finding your wisdom, well, it can be a lifetime's work, but it's always good to begin. Some of you, you're well a long way along your path. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So why I am bringing this forward is that you need your wisdom, you need your intuition, you need your deep inner knowing, you need that overview self to come forward right now. You don't need your reactive emotional self. You don't need your judgmental, analytical, overthinking mind. And you definitely don't need your kind of reactive, sensual, uh, terrified, uh, or, or other kinds of reactions that may be happening that are in response to a lot of energy bombarding you at the moment. So you need to lift up into that overviewing self, the one that can see the bigger picture. That is partly why I'm coming forward and many other beings in your world to help you see the bigger picture and who you are within that bigger picture. What it means to say you are the divine light incarnate. What does that mean? You will say, well, do you know who you are? You're the divine light incarnate. You're a star being here upon the earth. You've come to help create a new earth. If you're listening to me for sure, if your guides are saying, have a little listen there, 
you will definitely be part of this huge wave of humanity that is not just on the physical plane it involves many beings in your ancestries it involves many beings coming forward from the inner planes who are your relations throughout the cosmos so this is a very cosmic transition this is not just a few little earth beings go oh let's change let's put the clocks forward let's just mm, let's manipulate this or that let's do this no this is a multi-dimensional gateway and there are many beings coming forward and your best bet is to be in that big luminous receptive self like the satellite dishes that can receive impressions from the galaxies 